Hi, I'm Jeannie. I make flight attendant videos on YouTube and I've been on YouTube for about three years. Hello, I'm Steven Hee. I'm a Chinese Irish actor and a YouTuber and I make comedy skits. I've been on YouTube for about three years. Where did we meet? Because I think we have different stories. <laughs> that would be great. Do we have a difference? Okay. You asked me to fly to New York. Would you like to collaborate? But can you fly to New York for this thing? So all of a sudden we had me, Nigel, uh, Brett and Eddie. We've got four of the <laughs> biggest Asian creators on the planet. Um, do you want to come? And you were like immediately, yes, I'm down. And that's when we took a unique achievement on YouTube. And I will, I will stand by this. We produced three videos in the same day. And when we launched the three, we took United States trending number six, seven, and one yeah, that was simultaneously. Dope. That was so dope. Yeah. I don't believe one shoot has ever taken three spots in the top 10 simultaneously. You freaked me out because <laughs> I'm like a shorts creator yeah. where I film everything on one tripod yeah. and my phone. Oh, and you're like, yeah. let's collaborate. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm gonna come with my little tripod and my phone. <laughs> and then there's like this room full of lights and a huge yeah. production team. I'm like, Steven, you said this was like, you know, we're just gonna like chill. And you're yeah. like, this is chilling. But you know what? Your yeah. next project, mm -hmm. you went. Yeah. Ginormal! <laughs> it's a TV show made by my grandpa Bruce back in the 70s. Somehow, he managed to scrape together some money and made the show that was so bad it was cancelled before it even aired. I was actually a little bit... I don't want to say annoyed. I know I like frustrated at the fact I'm like, so the director's like, oh, do this scene. And we do it perfectly. Yeah. Like, yes! And he goes, amazing, do it again. I'm like, what? Why? We just did it. Like, <laughs> Every single actor on the planet will relate to that. That is literally what I imagined. Couldn't have been any better. It was the best performance imaginable. Yes. Do, do it again. again. What? What? <laughs> We had my co-creator, Ken Mock, who is a groundbreaking figure in Hollywood. He was the first Asian executive. And uh, we had Fawn Davis, who is arguably oh, the greatest model maker in yeah. Hollywood history. Yeah. He made R2-D2, he made the Millennium Falcon, and he made Gino. So I was already good friends with Ken. One day, he said to me, dude, he's wanted to make this show for so long. He showed me the idea, and he showed me a couple of like references of this is what Ultraman looks like back yeah. then in the 70s. And I was like, I watched that show growing up, let's do it! And so it was, it was he and I's combined power where he was the voice of the traditional industry, the oh. filmmakers. And I was the distributor, kind of like the casting director. Oh. But I didn't take it as a casting director at all. I, I just wanted my friends to come on set. Yeah, it was with our two powers combined that we managed to bring two very, very different worlds together. Well, you know what? You have yeah. experience because you're a failed actor. Oh, yeah. I'm an so aspiring actor. Of, you have a lot of experience. <laughs> Which okay. means I've experienced serving <laughs> lattes. I didn't pay attention to a lot of things. The only thing uh -huh. that I will take back is the production team though. Okay. So as I'm like growing out my team, yeah. then I'm like, oh, we do need someone to do maybe lighting. Do you need someone to be, you know, all like script writing and the characters? Yeah. You have so many teams going on, right? Yeah. I'm like, oh, so that aspect, yes, the team uh, building side, but the yes. technical side, I, I'm not a technical person. Okay, I want to tell an embarrassing story about <laughs> getting out. <laughs> You told me this at the beginning. <laughs> what did yes. I do? You said in the beginning when you made your first couple of videos, you used to change costumes for every Why reference shot. Why would you tell me all that? Why would you tell me all that? Why would you? Actually, it was true. I, I didn't know how to stitch different yeah, yeah to, together. to shoot all of so them characters. So literally, I would have like, you know my skits, some of my skits uh -huh. have like five, six characters. I would be like, hey, uh, can I have a drink? And then I would change to my father to the uniform and go, yes. And then I would change back to the dad. Yes. Okay, well, can I have some chicken? And then change again. I'm sorry, we're sold out. Like, you know, this could... I did that in the beginning. Oh my gosh, it's so embarrassing. Uh, Why would you say that? You should be able to hold that in your head. <laughs> hey, that yeah. proves that anyone can create. Well, we get messages and stuff. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Um, maybe people are like, hey, oh, you know, thank you for being an inspiration and representing us because it's really hard. And there's 
no one like us yes, out there, yes. especially in the entertainment industry, especially in comedy. Immediate comedy. Um, rather, you're American or Canadian. Mm -hmm. I've yes, I have had a lot of these stories, and it's it's crazy how often you hear a similar story repeat. Like a kid from Utah might tell me he's the only Chinese kid in his school, and you know he felt like an outsider. He wasn't so confident about it. But now everyone runs around screaming, emotional no damage. damage! Emotional damage! <laughs> and this feels cooler. But you know what? It's actually giving a lot of uh, confidence in the API community for them to even tell their own stories. They're like, yeah. oh, you can do it? Yeah. Well, I can do it too then. I'm like, of course you can. Tell your story if you want on YouTube. It's, you know, that's just what you do, right? Percent. And yeah. you can, you have the power. It is fully in your hands. I can, I can vouch for that. I'm the, I'm the one that had, and no skill sets, and I still think it's so yeah. <laughs> I need a second to think. That's oh, a really good yeah. question. Oh, let me have a second. You need a second? Yeah, then I have one for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, what? <laughs> you know, I, we've collaborated a lot, you know, so I'm going to pitch a, a, a skit for you. Okay. If airlines were off brand. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, that's good. If airlines were off brand, yeah. go through all the different airlines. Instead of United <laughs> Airlines, we are divided airlines. <laughs> <Do> <laughs> <laughs> that that's good. That's good. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. Come on. Oh, that's fine. That's okay, good, right? for you, I will make this video. Yes. That's awesome. Yes. Okay, for you, I, I, I'm starting to form an idea. Uh, uh -oh. I think it would be so cool. Have you seen like the Office Parks and Rec mockumentary series? I have not. Well, that's the idea. <laughs> to make a show about running an airplane and to make it like legit, get a get a set. I know I'm thinking so bad. Get a set that is the inside of an airplane. Tripod and phone, Steven. Tripod and phone and a green screen in my bedroom, Steven. I don't have a party. I don't have a Boeing 777 I can go into, okay? And then think of this. Every week, you get different creator friends to come on. And it's like, they're coming out to the Genie Airline. So, um... I'm actually doing that. Wait, what? Hello, sir. What would you like for your meal? Uncle Roger will have the egg fried rice. Oh, this, yes, the mini version. Yes. I have the mini skin. versions yeah. of like different creators yeah. and they come onto my plane and we just. So, oh, yes. yes. So now that's what I'm. But it, it's so a lot funny. of work to try to. You know how it's a yeah. timing and everything like that. Yeah, so yeah, that's what I really wanted to do, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rent, rent the house. Get, Maggie, yeah. Build a set. <laughs> yes, indeed. I come from Hollywood. I, I don't go, I come from England and Ireland. I come from the traditional industry is what I meant. As an actor who like auditions and then can I have a job? Yes, I have a job. I go on the set and do the job. It, it felt so limited. I was always at the mercy of whoever I was begging for a job, a casting director, a director, a producer. And then if I get it, I would just do what I'm told. I have quite little creative freedom besides like my first take. And they're like, no, don't like it, do it this way. YouTube lets me make a skit about my mom throwing slippers at me all the way to a full scale production and to be able to fund everything and be the boss that says, okay, here's the story we're gonna tell. The fact that that exists is extraordinary. Dude, Very... we are in control. And especially yeah. because we're in, in the API community. Yes. There is a lot of red tape. Because I'm not a film, but mm -hmm. what you said, you know, you told me, you're like, I can't make it. I can't make it in this industry. They won't let me in. They won't let me tell you my story. And they're like, do you do? Yeah. YouTube, thank you for having us for this conversation. We had a lot of fun and create on YouTube, guys. Yeah, that's on the table. Yeah, so that's fun. Yeah, for sure. Yes, indeed. Oh, did we cause any emotional damage? Uh, yeah, we did. <laughs> yes. We caused Jeannie emotional damage by revealing her early... Oh. <laughs> embarrassing stories. <laughs>